UK's Labour Party is making desperate attempts to uh, woo British Indian voters, but it continues to get its India policy all wrong. The Labour Party has termed Jammu and Kashmir as the world's most pressing humanitarian crisis. Now, not only that, it has compared Jammu and Kashmir to Yemen. Yes, Yemen, whose conflict has been termed as the worst humanitarian crisis in the world by the United Nations. Seems like the party has learned no lesson from the condemnation of its controversial motion on Jammu and Kashmir that it had passed in September this year. Now, in an outrageous motion, it called for international intervention in Jammu and Kashmir. The party had managed to anger British Indian voters who were miffed with its resolution on what is clearly India's internal matter. And how does it want UK's relations with India to be when it is clearly disrespecting the country's sovereignty? Now, the party also made other pledges with regards to India. In its manifesto, the party instead pledged to issue a formal apology for the 1919 Jallianwala Bagh massacre in which hundreds of unarmed Indians were shot dead. Remember, in April, former UK Prime Minister Theresa May expressed regret for the massacre, but like her predecessors, stopped short of issuing an apology. The Labour has vowed to acknowledge the role of Indian soldiers who fought as a part of the British colonial army. The party also pledged to probe Britain's role in the 1984 Operation Blue Star, which it referred to as the Amritsar Massacre. Remember, the UK government's declassified documents revealed that the then British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher had lent support to New Delhi for the operation. The documents revealed that the UK had dispatched at least one military officer to assist the Indian side. The Labour Party understands that it needs the support of British Indian voters, but it still fails to rise above its prejudices. Right, so that's the uh, big story we are tracking here on We On World Is One. This moment, the UK's Labour Party is making desperate attempts to woo British Indian voters, but it continues to get its India policy all wrong. The Labour Party has termed Jammu and Kashmir as the world's most pressing humanitarian crisis. And uh, We On World Is One's very own Mandy Clark now joins me from London. Mandy. What does the, the, the Labour Manifesto say and what does it mean when it says Jammu and Kashmir is the world's most pressing humanitarian crisis? Well, that's a big question. It, it, what, what the manifesto is very clear, it is trying to win back a lot of the uh, British Indians that it uh, lost when it and had that, that Labour conference and um, really made, put Kashmir on the forefront. Now, uh, they have stepped back from the manifesto. They've made it clear that a lot of issues, like the Jallanwell and Bag Massacre, is on that forefront. But what does it mean? And that is the big question. How do they want to get involved? Certainly, it feels uh, inappropriate for Britain to get involved at this point. That is um, unclear in their manifesto. And they've purposely took a step back to really win back those that they've lost. Also, Mandy, the manifesto talks about an audit of the British colonial legacy and it talks about offering an apology for the 1919 Jallianwala Bagh massacre. Do you think this will cut much ice with the British uh, Indian voter? I think uh, they have lost a lot of goodwill. So there is a big question among voters. How, um, how much is this just talk to try and win back that vote and how much will it be policy? Um, that is the larger question. An apology is important. That's a very important issue. Um, and an investigation into the, the Operation Blue Star, that is something that a lot of the community want. Um, and they have mentioned it in the past. It's not the first time that Labour have uh, said they want to address these issues. But again, it's their policy around Kashmir that is the most pressing for uh, British Indians and how they plan to go ahead with it. So. Um, those policies are important, but not as important as the current Kashmir crisis. And very quickly, Manny, let's talk about the elephant in the room, so to speak, the issue of Brexit. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the, the debate between uh, Jeremy Corbyn and Boris Johnson the other day, 
Corbyn did not uh, come out cleanly or clearly about what his position will be on Brexit, but uh, on the face of it, he called for a second EU referendum and a second Scottish referendum as well. Uh, what's your take on whether the Labour Party's manifesto on Brexit in particular will cut much ice with the average British voter going forward as well? Well, I think you're absolutely right. The biggest problem that, that Labour faces is that they don't have a very clear manifesto on Brexit. They're not a Remain party. They're not a Brexiteer party. They say they want a second referendum. People feel like it's too uh, wishy-washy. It's too in the middle. They want a very clear idea on whether they do want to remain um, or they want to Brexit. So um, what we do know is Jeremy Corbyn has been, um, you know, has supported the Brexit strategy. Of course, the rest of his party hasn't, and that's why you're getting these mixed messages. Uh, the, the, the majority of British voters find that confusing. They don't know, uh, are they going to support the Brexit strategy? And that is for, it's such an important issue for British voters. They want to pick a party that represents their view on Brexit. So Indeed. the fact that the major second opposition party isn't clear on it is really damaging their chances. All right, on that note, uh, Mandy Clark in London, thank you so much for that information. Appreciate it.